Fighting in the East has come to characterize Ukraine. But Ukraine's struggle for survival and self-determination, free of corrupt governments and Russian influence, is fought on many other fronts. In this program, we'll look at four distinct challenges Ukraine faces, in addition to fighting on its borders. From cyber defense to internal defense, fixing its forces to telling the truth. Ukraine faces challenges that may determine its very survival. Ukraine's armed forces continue to defend their country against incursions by pro-Russian separatists. But it's a struggle that hasn't come easy for a force that relies heavily on conscripts and volunteers. In early summer 2014, it looked as if Ukrainian forces might prevail against pro-Russian separatists. But during a brief ceasefire, the rebels regrouped with the help of advanced weapon systems. Military journalist Yuri Butusov of news agency Sensor.net says he initially couldn't believe his eyes when he saw Russian hardware in his country. I didn't believe it. I thought it was propaganda or that somebody was seeing things. But two days later, the first post was shelled in the region of Dobropilia by the first grad. Deadly weapons like Grad missiles and book systems devastated Ukrainian forces, including a tragic rout at Ilovaisk, where hundreds of soldiers were killed or captured after being encircled by enemy forces. The Ukrainian armed forces at Ilovaisk were outgunned and outmaneuvered, something that many blame not on poor soldiers, but poor military planning. Our intelligence data was good, and it was provided to the Ukrainian military leadership, but the bureaucratic machinery failed and did not allow us to react properly. So the result was this tragedy. But to understand why Ukraine's armed forces found themselves on the back foot, we need to go back to the fall of the Soviet Union in the early 90s. The total strength of the military was almost one million when Ukraine got its independence in 1991. And for those uh, 23, 25 years, they were reduced to less than 200,000. And this has uh, enormous uh, impact. Add to these drastic reductions, 25 years of mismanagement and, many believe, deliberate neglect. It's a question of deliberate underfunding for more than 20 years. Before the war, during the regime of Yanukovych, the Ministry of Defense was headed by Russian agents. Two successive ministers of defense were Russian citizens, and they completely destroyed our units of high readiness. They undermined our capabilities and actually destroyed a big portion of our equipment. The good news is that Ukraine's war has given thousands of soldiers experience in a year that would take many armies 10 to acquire. But to build on that experience will take careful training and mentoring, even as fighting sporadically continues despite the Minsk agreements. NATO's pledged money to improve Ukraine's armed forces through mentoring command and control structures, something the former regime resisted. Under Yanukovych, there was a backslide to a Soviet system of governance. The more this system of distribution of resources is complicated, the more opportunities there are for corruption. That's why our military leadership resisted a switch to a more simple and understandable NATO structure. If the current Soviet-style system is allowed to continue without reform, it could have devastating results. This system doesn't work because uh, this system kills initiative, kills responsibility. If uh, this system will continue, I think uh, it would be a question of more casualties and the loss of uh, territory. And while, thanks to volunteers and conscripted troops, numbers are increasing, emphasis will need to be on quality as well as quantity. We need to understand the professional level of this volunteer. If you are a patriot, if you want to fight for Ukraine, you have to be alive. You have to be effective on the front line. We don't need dead patriots. Ukraine's armed forces have long days and nights of fighting ahead of them. 
as well as years of caring for their wounded and developing their defences. With no signs that fighting will cease completely, it will be a steep learning curve.